Using standard fusion components, you'll require a minimum of 120 millimeters measured from the center of the staircase base rail to the center of the landing base rail for stairs with landings at 180 degrees to the stairs. Mark the overlap of the two pieces of base rail on the floorboards. Then mark the diagonal line that will form the mitre joint and transfer this to the base rails. Cut and mitre the landing base rails to size and place into position on the landing. Do not fix to the landing floorboards at this stage. Now fix the landing baluster brackets to the landing balusters by inserting the 63mm number 8 fixing screws into the brackets and tighten. The balusters are pre-cut to length and do not require any modification. Place an off-cut of handrail loosely into the landing connector and position the baluster onto the base rail. Next, place this handrail and connector on top of the baluster to the side of the top newel. This will establish the required height of the post. Mark and cut to suit. Where the landing balustrade meets the wall, find the position of the wall connector on the wall by placing an assembled landing baluster onto the base rail with the handrail and wall connector on top. Now mark, drill and plug the wall. Then fix the wall connector to the wall. Place an offcut of handrail into the landing connector and position it on the top newel post, ensuring it's directly above the short base rail. Slide the landing handrail into the wall connector and check it's also directly above the corresponding base rail. Where the two handrails intersect, position the horizontal turn connector to establish the lengths of cut. Mark and cut the handrails to the required length. Fix the landing connector to the top newel post using the screws provided. Fix the horizontal turn connector to the short return length of handrail. Then to the longer landing handrail. Place this assembly into the wall connector and then insert into the landing connector. Finally, fix the ends of the handrails to the landing connector and the wall connector with the screws provided. You're now ready to fix the corner balusters. It is important these are located against the metal of the horizontal turn connector. Position the baluster between the handrail and base rail and check that it's vertical. Then mark the position of the baluster bracket to the base rail with a pencil. Remove the baluster and fix the base rail to the floorboards using a 45mm number 8 countersink screw. The screw fixing the base rail to the floorboards should be positioned directly under the centre of the baluster so that it does not interfere with the baluster bracket fixing screws and cannot be seen. Reposition the baluster, then fix to the base rail and handrail using the screw supplied. Fix the baluster nearest the wall, making sure the gap between the baluster and the wall is no greater than 99mm to conform to building regulations. To calculate the exact number of landing balusters, measure the distance in millimetres between the centre spacing marks on the first and last balusters. Divide this measurement by 117 millimetres. Then round your answer up to the next whole number. Divide this whole number back into your original measurement and this will give you an exact spacing. Alternatively, you may find it aesthetically more pleasing to space the landing balusters so that they visually match the staircase balusters, but not exceeding 99mm spacing. Mark the position of the baluster brackets to the base rail, 
and secret fix the base rail to the landing floorboards using 45mm number 8 countersink screws every fourth baluster. Finally, fix all bottom baluster brackets to the base rail and top baluster brackets to the handrail using the screws provided. Once again, checking for vertical using a spirit level. Your new Fusion Balustrade will now be completely fitted and secure, giving a complete transformation to your staircase.